Hey folks, on our next episode, we travel down to Wiener, Arkansas. North Central Arkansas has always been known as a waterfowl mecca, especially for mallard ducks. This time, we're hunting speckle belly geese. And I'll tell you, Arkansas did not disappoint. Specks, snows, and blues were everywhere. We got an invite by Corey Trotter and Tony Ramsey from Wiener, Arkansas to join them one morning. Well, just watch the video. You'll see what happens. It was amazing. A hunt of a lifetime on Specker Belly Geese in North Central Arkansas. 5 a.m. can't come soon enough for folks like these. There's more than just a job to do so they hit their knees. They sure take pride in everything they do. And there's no challenge that they won't work through. So they tirelessly keep going on They work their fingers to the bone They spend way too much time in the field and away from home You can be sure they know what all this hard work is for So now we honor you as legends Legends of the outdoors Y'all sit back, relax, and enjoy waterfowl hunting at its finest. I'm just telling you, <laughs> if you like tornadoes, you're going to love this whirlwind here in North Central Arkansas. North Central Arkansas has always been a mecca for waterfowl hunting and for waterfowl hunters. The amounts of geese and ducks that were there were phenomenal, and I couldn't sleep the night before just thinking about the great hunt that we were about to have. Are we going to hunt this morning, Philip? Well, I sure hope so. You boys are going to get some booming and banging in here, huh? I hope we're going to shoot some big speckle bellies this morning. <laughs> Look at the crowd. <laughs> 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 Sixteen hunters had gathered in this field together today where Corey had set up uh, the blinds with the help of his other guides the day before. The stage was set for a great hunt and sure enough everything come together right on time. Get a 
and I'll have to throw my hand up and shut that up. Yeah. He won't do it. Thank you, sir. He's having fun. He won't do it tomorrow. This portion of Legends of the Outdoors is brought to you by Woodhaven Custom Calls, America's best turkey and deer calls. Game hide, one brand every season. Woody's, national award-winning barbecue, dry rub, and seasoning. So get to grilling with Woody's. started to come up uh, in the east, uh, thousands upon thousands of waterfowl started migrating toward us. At just as shooting time began, we were able to call a flock of specks right down into the decoys. It was still too dark for us to shoot them even though it was shooting time, so we let that flock go. In just a few minutes, here come the next bunch. They didn't fare quite so well as they come right down into the decoys due to Corey and the guy's great speckle belly call.
This portion of Legends of the Outdoors is brought to you by Knox County Whitetails, where you come as a client and leave as a friend. CVA, it's just a better gun. RBX Transportation, be a name, not a number. All morning long, wave after wave after wave, the snows, blues, and speckleberries traded back and forth between the three fields where they were feeding. Not all of them worked into our spread, but enough of them did that we got the limit and had a great hunt.
Yo. Come on. You got no broke wings? No. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah that's a pretty one. This portion of Legends of the Outdoors is brought to you by Black Widow Innovations. Tough, accurate, deadly. Scott Archery, CBE, Ultra Arrows. Once reaching our limits, all the decoys picked up, put back in the trailer. We all headed back out to Corey's house. What a great hunt. I'll never forget it. The hunt of a lifetime in North Central Arkansas. Special thanks to Tony Ramsey and to Corey and all the guys that helped make this adventure with Legends of the Outdoors one for the books. Hey folks, we're here in Northeast Arkansas. We're with Corey Trotter and his daughter, Scarlett, and we have had a bang up speckle belly shoot. One of the best I've ever been on. Corey, thank you so much for having us. You're Heather, welcome. Uh, you got a legacy right here. <laughs> I know your granddaddy owned this farm and, and that you're hunting on, and y'all farm this, and, and what a great, great place you've got. This is a true piece of heaven. Corey, I want you to talk just a little bit about your membership organization. Uh, for hunting and also about your guide service. Okay, we have we have a hall thicket duck club, and uh, we we have members that come in and we we lease fields around the around the area, and uh, we have two clubs, um, have lodging and all that, and um, we also do day leases and and uh, we do some guided spec hunts um, just during regular regular duck season and. Uh, just a little bit of everything. Now, I want to tell you, North Central Arkansas, Winter Arkansas, this area is absolutely full of, of waterfowl game. We've seen thousands upon thousands of snows and blues and speckle bellies this morning. The specs worked great. You guys did a great job calling. Everybody was safe. You know, we had 16 hunters, and that sounds like a lot, but all these guys and gals know what they're doing. And uh, if you get a chance and you want to go hunting on a spec hunt with some great folks, you need to give Corey a call. Uh, Hall Thicket Duck Club, yep. give them a call. And what's that phone number? 870-530-2002. Look them up and uh, give them a call. You'll be glad you did. Till next time, we'll see you right here on Legends of the Outdoors TV. Till then, God bless and good hunting. Bye. That's the first thing that Philip wanted to know about if she was going to cook the gravy. Philip just said, hey, it's fall meal gravy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Thank you. Give me a few of them, a few of them chicken bullets. And move right on around the table here. You ever notice that Gary and Jeff is only the first one up to the line? <laughs> hey, this, we've been places where they run out of food before, ain't we, Jeff? We cow. <laughs> we never, we're, <laughs> they, they, we're not on the front end, but now we'll never be. <laughs> I tell you what, where I grew up, it was a mom and a daddy and, and five kids, and if you didn't grunt and grow and grab, you were going to be left out. <laughs> Is this what your hunters expect? 
when they come to hunt with you, then do you feed them or? Well, not all, just just the special ones. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'll show you that one. Look here. This is the reason that we're all here is because of this guy right here. That's right. Down the road. There ain't no guy. He's the man with the plane plow. Got a good look up over. Oh, I know. Look at me. You, you're the reason we're down in this neck of the woods after all these years. Y'all just saved me a bite now. <laughs> well, you, you better put the camera down. Come eat. <laughs> so now we honor you as legends. Legends of the Outdoors